Yes, a club foot is always present at birth and oftentimes can even be seen on prenatal ultrasounds as well. So there's four characteristics when describing a club foot. The first is cavus, meaning that there's an increased arch in the foot. The second is adductus, meaning that the foot is turned in. The third is varus, where the heel or the calcaneus is actually tilted out. And then equinus, where the foot is pointed down. Sometimes in babies, it can be difficult to tell if it's a club foot or just a positional, flexible position of the foot. Uh, the important thing to look for, though, is that equinus. If the foot cannot be brought up easily, then that's a club foot. Different treatments have been tried in the past. Before the Ponsetti method was introduced, all of these babies ended up requiring quite large surgeries. And while the surgery tended to be successful, uh, it required opening up the joints of the foot. And anytime you do that, it just leads to increased scar tissue and decreased flexibility. And a club foot is already a little bit stiffer than a non-club foot. Uh, additionally, there was the risk of overcorrecting the club foot, which then became even more difficult to treat. There was another method that was also introduced around the same time as the Ponsetti method that involved using physical therapy, stretching, and taping. Um, this actually proved, when combined with that same Achilles tenotomy at the end of treatment, to be about the same as the Ponsetti method. However, it required a lot from the family. They had to do daily physical therapy, daily stretching, daily taping, um, and so it was just a lot more on their end, whereas by doing the Ponsetti method, it's a lot better for the family and we get the same results. The most common cause of a relapse is in patients who are non-compliant with bracing, and so that's why it's really important that our families continue to brace as we prescribe. In the case of a relapse, we can often redo some of our Ponsetti casting and get the foot back into a good position. Sometimes we have to redo our Achilles tenotomy, and sometimes ultimately these patients end up requiring more procedures or sometimes larger procedures to get that foot into a flat position. We like to start casting between one to two weeks of age. So that means there's no rush in making families call. They don't have to call while they're still in the hospital. They can go home, rest, relax for a couple days, and we can usually fit them into our clinics pretty quickly after they call within that one to two week time frame. If the baby is born at Johns Hopkins, we can always come by, talk with the family about the casting process, but usually, again, don't start it until they follow up in clinic. Mm -hmm.